Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to bring to you a list of things to do with your kids on Christmas break. So either way, if your kids go to school or you homeschool, when you're on Christmas break, things are still a little different um, because you just don't have that same routine. So sometimes it's nice to have some things kind of in the back of your mind or plan to do in case things just get a little boring or crazy. So some of the things you can do, and this kind of depends on where you live, but the first thing that I like to do are zoos, aquarium, museums. Um, you can go, you know, shows, movie theaters, but that kind of depends on where you live and what you have available to you. Um, so just look around, things like that, what you have available, what you can afford, and have fun with those. It's a great time to go, um, especially if you're homeschooled, to go a little bit before the other kids break or a little after the kids break. You know, if you don't break at the exact same time, that's nice. Um, another thing you can do that's at home is puzzles. It's a great time to work puzzles because you don't have anything else you really need to do, so you can just set it out and leave it up for all of Christmas break and slowly work on it. Um, we also like to do some baking. We do cookies and ornaments is a fun one. It's fun to make your own ornaments. Um, sorry, I'm looking at my list is why I keep looking down. Uh, um, okay, a surprise basket for a family. This is a fun thing to do, especially at Christmas time, is pick a family that you just want to give a little extra blessing to. Um, you know, someone that maybe is having just a rough time or someone that you just are so thankful for and you just want them to know you're thankful for them um, or that they're special. And you don't necessarily have to let them know it's you. I think it's fun a lot of times to do these secretly, um, but get a basket together and have the kids help you pick things that you think that family would like and put it in the basket and somehow deliver it to them um, anonymously. <clears throat> It's a really fun, it's a fun way to get the kids into giving and it's also neat when you do it secretively that way because you show the kids that it's fun to give even if you don't necessarily get anything back. Um, because no one says thank you, no one knows you did it, but yet it was still a lot of fun and honestly, I think it's more fun um, when it's secret. So that's something else that is really fun to do with the kids and it's a good teaching opportunity. Um, you can always watch Christmas movies at home, which I'm sure you all know that, but you could always take it even a step further and make it like a movie theater night and give them little tickets and you can even have them make their own little tickets and have them make out a little menu for what you're going to like maybe snack on during your movie or, you know, make it a whole activity and work up to it throughout the day um, and make it an event. That That's another fun little thing you can do. Uh, at night, you can always go drive around and look at Christmas lights. Um, most towns have something, or at least some houses, that have some lights up, and so that's a fun thing to do, and the kids especially love that. Um, you have Christmas crafts. <sighs> Pinterest has lots of ideas on this. You could just come up with some yourself. You could simply buy a Christmas coloring book and give it to them. But just something a little different, out of the ordinary, that goes with the season. It just makes it fun and it's something else for them to do. I also sometimes like to do a Christmas study. So since we're off from normal school, choose pick this time to do some different type of school. Um, what I plan to do this year, and honestly it didn't get done because I've had kids sick one right after another and it's almost impossible to do school when you're messing with sick children. But I got books from all the different countries, or not all, but a select different countries, and we were going to study about Christmas in other countries and how they do Christmas. And there's still time and I still hope to maybe get to that, um, but it hasn't gone quite as planned. But that is something you can do and it doesn't have to be a Christmas study. You could choose some other small little topic to study. Um, you could study just Christmas itself, uh, different Christmas traditions. There's lots of things that you could pick to really zone in on and dig into more. Um, and you could do this even if your kids go to public school. It's still fun to, you know, get some books and just read it together and learn something different together that they probably won't learn there at school because that's just not what they have time for. Um, so do something fun like that, a fun, different little bit of a study. Uh, you also could get a chapter book to read together. Um, 
I've recently just kind of started doing this because my kids have just kind of reached that age where they'll actually sit and listen to me read, but um, like a chapter book. But you can get some kind of a fun chapter book. I introduced my son to Hardy Boys. Um, and you can give them all like a color sheet or something to do while you sit and read. And it's a good way to get them really into books and finding out that there's some fun fiction out there. And he is totally hooked. He loves Hardy Boys now. So that are... That is some fun Christmas activities that you can do on this Christmas break. I hope that gave you some ideas. If you have some I didn't say, please comment below and let us know and add to our list. I am sure that I would like to hear them as well as anyone else that's watching or reading this. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Merry Christmas. Bye.